by Peter Lim Saveri's boxing promotion's latest card has gotten back on its feet after a double knockdown courtesy of two monumental events in Houston, one negative and one positive. The card was derailed in August when Hurricane Harvey roared into Texas leaving much of the city submerged in flood waters. The fight night was moved to October 28th only to be postponed again when the Houston Astros roared the way into the World Series with Game 3 coinciding with the event. Rescheduled for November 11th at the zone, this time the event seems good to go. Headlining the event is local welterweight prospect Arturo Marquez 85 Cos who will be taking on Rick Graham 4182, one co over six rounds. The son of former U.S. Olympian Raul Marquez, Arturo, 20, has averaged a fight every two months since making his pro debut last year. Although he has fought opponents with winning records in his last three bouts Marquez is not taking Graham lightly. He comes to fight and it's not easy to knock him out Marquez said. We've been making a lot of improvements in the gym like working on the jab, more combinations and being more aggressive. I love it way more than the amateurs. You've got a lot more time to think in there. It's not really fast like the amateur where you're throwing punches and punches in bunches. Competing in the most talent-rich division in the sport has fueled his desire to succeed even more, Marquez said. It's a stacked division, Marquez said. It's the division everyone wants to be in right now. Errol Spence is the champion right now with Keith Thurman. Crawford has just moved up there so 147 would be the best division in boxing right now. One day I hope to be up there with them. Returning from a three-year layoff due to contractual disputes is heavyweight darling Tanaga 1001, 7 Koss who will take on Dominic Jenkins 14,112, 6 Koss. Over the last six months, Aga, 34, has been training under former cruiserweight world title holder Vasily Jirov who has injected new life into his stagnated career. I understand why he was cruiserweight champion, Aga said. He's teaching how to sit on my punches, punch in combinations and how to really put power behind my shots. Vasily is a very skilled boxer. We're talking about the guy who won the best boxer in the 96 Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia. He can box, he can fight and he can do a lot of things. He tells me how to play games, how to set up shots, how to feint jabs and how to get a guy to think twice about what he wants to do. Standing six feet tall, Arga might be tall for the average man but he might as well be a midget in this modern era of gargantuan heavyweights. It need not be a disadvantage per se, Arga said, citing other short heavyweights who learned to overcome the lack of height and reach to summit the highest echelons of the sport. Hopefully in this fight what everybody's going to see that I bring to the table that old school head movement that Joe Frazier and Mike Tyson's style of head movement and even James Tony's style of head movement, Arga said. You've got to move your head being a smaller guy. It's to our advantage to move and make the big guy miss. That's the thing that Vissily has been working on with me make the guy miss and come back with a good punch placement. In other bouts super middleweight. Rafael Igbo 63 cost aches on Rudy Lazano 382. Welterweight Marquis Taylor 71 faces Hector Mercado 29. Cristobal Morales 50, 1 co takes on James de Herrera 33, 3 cos in a lightweight bout. Christian Montano 20, 2 cos and Hassam Mohammed 22, 2 cos clash in a cruiserweight bout. Cruiserweight Kenneth Allen 30, 2 cos fights Dominique Smith 222, 2 cos. And welterweight Kristen Edwards 72, 3 cos faces Yasmani Pedroza 12, 1 co. Tags Arturo Marquez Darling Tanaga.